Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my empties for the month of November. Also, I do just want to preface this. I know I sound kind of nasally. I actually have a sinus infection right now, so please ignore the like hoarse voice and the nasally raspiness. I'm sorry about that, but I did want to get this video out to you guys because I finished up a lot of empties and I'm really proud, so I want to show them to you guys. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the empties. So first thing, I'm going to start with candles because that's what I'm most proud of. I finished off four full-size candles this month. Really happy about that. The first one is Toasted Vanilla Chai. And this one was very, very, very light whenever you burned it. So I actually ended up putting this um, for the whole lifetime that I had this candle in the candle crock. The scent notes are herbal chai, toasted vanilla bean, and marshmallow. So yeah, you can tell it's pretty much full. I burned it once or twice to just see if it would give off any scent at all and it was barely noticeable so but when I put it in the candle crock it actually performed really well it um it smelled pretty good in my room for about a month or a month and a half so definitely worked that way but I don't think I would purchase it again just because it was so 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 light but this is one of my favorite scents in the hand soap I'm just kind of sad that the candle did not perform to my expectations, but it is a vanilla scent, so of course it's going to be a little lighter. The next one I finished off is the Warm Apple Pie Candle. This one I did purchase online. I don't know if it was an online exclusive, I think it was, um, but this packaging is like hideous. Um, this candle was also kind of temperamental. It had very, very small wicks and they kept like dudding out in my bedroom. I leave my fan on in my bedroom because I just, that's what I'm used to. I'm used to doing that. and. It, it was just not surviving so I had to uh, burn it in my bathroom and in there there's like not really a lot of airflow going on there's no fan I don't leave the fan on in the bathroom so um, it was performing really well in the bathroom I actually love this scent um, kind of odd to have like an apple pie scent in the bathroom but it was amazing it's a beautiful beautiful scent the notes are baked granny smith apple melted brown sugar and flaky homemade crust I just wish it had some better wicks so it could actually perform well in my bedroom so I could enjoy it in here, but it was a really great scent and I probably will still pick it up again next year. The next one I have is from Huntington Homes. This is pump Pumpkin Apple Fritter. Ignore the Bath & Body Works lid because I replaced the lid with this one, but this scent was really yummy. It was um, a little bit like fruity and it had like a slight bit of gourmand. It wasn't too strong near the end. So I think I just stopped burning it. It was pretty close to being done, but I just stopped burning it because there was no scent. Once you got about this this far down, there was like really no scent to it anymore, but it was a good scent. I really enjoyed it. And I think it was only like four or $5. So I definitely will get those again. The next one I have is Pumpkin Vanilla Creme. This one was so odd. I definitely got that jalapeno chip scent to it. It was just the weirdest thing ever. Um, the scent notes are creamy pumpkin, vanilla creme, fresh ground nutmeg, and graham cracker crust. So even on cold, you kind of get that jalapeno chip note, and it is really weird. So I would not get this again. I Not that I didn't enjoy it, because it was good. It was still pumpkin, vanilla creme, but with jalapeno chips. Um, so yeah, it was just really odd. Good performer, but just like really odd. So I probably won't get that one again. <laughs> Um, for body care, I did finish off two hand soaps. We got blueberry crumble right here. Scent notes are fresh blueberries, brown sugar glaze, and a dash of cinnamon. Really, really enjoyed this scent. It was so yummy. Honestly, I wish I can find a few at um, SAS this year because it was such a good gourmand blueberry scent and I loved it. Um, I also have blackberries and basil, which I finished off. Scent notes are blackberries, sparkling champagne, and basil. This is a really good scent. I always get this um, around the end of summer, early fall, and I just so happened to finish it off in November, but it's a really great scent. I love it. It is like so nice and fresh. For body care, I only finished off these two. Um, this is Happy Halloween Vampire Blood in the body lotion and the shower gel. So just two minis, no full size. And then I did finish off a hand lotion and champagne apple and honey. Love this scent for the fall. Ooh, I love it. It's so nice and fresh and fruity. Just an amazing scent. 
And then also in Blueberry Crumble, I finished off the uh, pocket back. Such a good scent. And uh, my boyfriend actually is obsessed with blueberry scents. So I'm really hoping I can find these for SAS and pick a few, a few more up for him. Because he every time I brought this out, he's like, oh, my favorite. It's just, it was so cute. So I definitely have to find more for him because he really enjoyed that. And then I have a few Wallflower fragrance refills. So the first one I have is actually... I guess I replaced it with fresh linen. So I do this really weird. I put the new scent that I replaced the old scent with, I put the tag on it. Um, so let me smell this one and see if I can see what it was. I think this was fresh laundry or whatever the laundry scent is. And then this one is fresh linen. So these go out in the garage. I always put like a laundry scent in the garage uh, because my dad is usually out there working on his bikes. And so it kind of smells like fuel and like I don't know it doesn't smell the best and it's right next to the laundry room so i'll just put this one right there so you can't really smell his like when he's working out in the garage <laughs> he works on harley motorcycles yeah my dad's really cool um he works on harley mot motorcycles in the garage so it always smells like oil and um like tools and things like that so yeah we put that out there for him um this one actually is from ryan's place and i think this is sweet whiskey so i bought them some wallflower fragrance refills a while back and so now I've just been replenishing it for them because I go in the store so much I'm like why don't I just pick them up some new ones they already had the plugs though okay so they were already Bath and Body Works converts um this was sweet whiskey it was such an amazing scent like oh my god so good and then I put in white balsam and vanilla and literally minutes not minutes but maybe an hour after I put that one in you could smell it through the whole house it was so good so really, really good. Those two scents have been amazing. In the bathroom, um, I think I replaced Champagne Apple and Honey, I wanna see, I wanna say this one was. Yeah, Champagne Apple and Honey, and I put in Pink Lemonade. So there's that one. I really like to do like fresh and fruity scents in the bathroom downstairs. And then for the kitchen, I think I replaced Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Yeah, this was pumpkin pecan waffles and now going downstairs in the kitchen is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow so that one is also really really good these two have been really good in the kitchen just like every now and then you walk by the i have it under the kitchen table the plug-in every now and then you walk by and you sniff it and it just smells really good so i finished off actually six wax bars pretty happy about that i never usually finish off this much this much wax in one month so first i'm going to go through the scentsy wax i finished off the Halloween Town scent. This one I have like with Sally on the front. And this was like purple wax. It was really cute. Honestly, it remind me reminded me of just like candy. It kind of smells like a Jolly Rancher with like a little bit of like a cashmere to it, I think. But this was so yummy. I really enjoyed this. It started out in my office uh, at work and then I brought it home and kept continuing it there. I think the last time I burned it or melted it, I burned it with a... Um, with like a mint cube mixed in with this and it was so yummy so that was really good i finished off tangerine creamsicle this one is from the summer i think and me and my mom really love this one it smells like creamsicles it smells so good um a few better homes and garden ones finished off lemon pumpkin shortbread this was like yellow wax it was really good um it was definitely more of like a I would say like a lemon bread, lemon loaf. You know, like the ice lemon loaf you get from Starbucks. That's kind of what it smelled like. And then we have orange cinnamon rolls, which I really enjoyed. It definitely smells like uh, cinnamon rolls. It definitely has a little bit of an orange scent too, but it was super cinnamony. So I had to be careful with this one because my mom doesn't like cinnamon too much. Um, and the last Better Homes and Gardens is banana pumpkin bread. This really just smelled like banana bread to me. I did not get a lot of pumpkin but it was really yummy, a great performer and very sweet and yummy. So loved this one. I finished off a Mainstays Wax Melt and Apple Cider Donut. And this one was really, really yummy. I finished it off in my office at work because it, these ones are like not very strong. So I was okay burning this at work because these are like the 98 cent ones. They're not super strong, but I don't really want anything that's gonna blow you at the house at work because I don't really want the guys next to me in the offices around me to smell it. So just, just for me to smell and enjoy in my office, I don't want other people having to smell that. And then them being like, what's, what's that smell? Why am I smelling apple cider donuts? So yeah, that's the last wax melt. And then I have just one makeup item this is the NYX this is everything look oil and cranberry mint I got this in like a advent calendar a few years back it finally dried out but oh and then some more just came out 
that was weird. Well, I thought it was finished, but I'm still gonna call it finished because I did not like this. Um, I don't like this lip oil formula. It, it's not super moisturizing. It doesn't stay on for very long, so did not enjoy that. Um, for skincare, I did finish off two things. Well, actually three. I finished off a Tony Moly sheet mask. I love these. This is the hydrating sheet mask in lavender. That was, that was really nice. I don't notice much of a difference with using those, but it just feels good. Um, I finished off a Cetaphil Pro Derma Control Oil Removing Face Wash that my dermatologist gave me. I did really like this. Um, it was actually pretty good for my oily skin. And then the Clear Proof Mary Kay Blemish Control Toner. It has salicylic acid in it. I usually just put this whenever I'm having like a breakout. Um, I'll put it on there and it works really well. So yeah, that's everything for my empties. I'm super proud of having finished off four candles and six wax melts. So that's really an accomplishment for me. Hopefully I can keep that up and also just like continue to finish off four candles in a row because I did just do a candle day order and I ordered seven more candles. So yeah, definitely need to keep up my uh, candle empties and my wax empties, but that's everything for today's video. Let me know down below something that you are super proud of finishing off last month. Did you finish off a bunch of candles? Cause like, that's great. If you didn't, that's totally fine. But yeah, let me know down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!